Hi everybody, I hope you're safe and well. Uh, I know we're all missing our golf at the moment and it's hard, uh, hard being in lockdown, but there's a couple of things you can do to really help your golf when you get back to the golf course. One in particular is just some stretching and mobility exercises. So I'd just like to run through a few today. Basically, we're gonna do the work on the shoulders, the arms and the wrists a little bit. And these are all gonna help you when you get back to the golf course. They'll increase your mobility increase your club head speed, you'll hit the ball a little bit further and hopefully enjoy the game a little bit more. So a couple of things just to point out before we start. One is that when you're stretching, always try and work with the breath. Always try and feel as if you're exhaling when you go into a stretch and inhaling on the other side. Try and breathe through the nose if you can. Also, never, try, never bounce when you're stretching. Never try to bounce, just it should be a slow or progressive and you shouldn't overly feel any pain. You should feel some stretch, but that's about all. So the first thing we're gonna work with is simply a, a, a little twist in motion called a floppy twist, where you are letting your arms swing around your body and they're slapping on your back and just gently swinging back and forth, allowing the body to just warm up and create a bit of heat in the body. Just getting a nice little bit of flexibility going in the spine. From there, we're gonna work into the shoulders. So we're gonna take our hands and place them on our shoulders, and then we're gonna roll our arms up and back. We're trying to inhale as we go up and exhale as we go back, making big circles as we do it. Inhale in exhale out a few rolls like that and then the opposite way back and forward back and forward from there we're going to take our left arm and take it across our chest put our right arm and hold it to our chest like, like so trying to feel a stretch along the arm here and to increase this stretch a little bit, you can turn your head to one side, just pulling that arm into your chest. We're gonna go the other side now, taking the right arm across the chest, pulling it into the side. To increase, just let the head turn to the right a little bit. Okay, from there, we're gonna take our arms up we're going to take our elbow above our head, put our hand on the, the opposite elbow and pull it down the back of our, our back here. The stretch here will feel as if it's in your triceps and shoulders. Again, trying to breathe with the stretch. Again, opposite side, left arm, right arm pulling down. Nice stretch, breathing into the stretch. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of golf clubs and we're going to hold them by our sides here and we're going to feel a lifting motion simply with our wrist, keeping the arms to our side, sandwich to our side, lifting the club up with our wrist with either arm. Feeling that work in the forearms. and a nice stretch. From there, if we take the club upright, bring our elbow into our side, keep it into our side, and roll the club from one side to another. Again, you're gonna feel this in your forearms. It's gonna be a nice stretch of forearms. Increase your wrist mobility. And this links in very much with golf, with the rotation of the club in the golf swing. Opposite hand, rolling back and forth. Okay, I hope this has helped and I hope this will, uh, will give you something to work on at home that will help you with your golf and when you get back to the golf course. I'll be doing another uh, session next week where we'll work on a little bit more on the mat, on flexibility with the spine, maybe the hips and working on a few um, other stretches. 
Anyway, look after yourselves and hope to see you soon.